Hey guys, this is Joe, founder and host of StartupRate.io. As you guys may already know, I've run this podcast full-time since January 2021. I'm very happy to announce that Anchor FM is my sponsor for this podcast. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free and it's easy to use, even for a newbie. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome to StartupRad.io, your podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello from StartupRad.io, your startup podcast and YouTube blog from Germany. This is a special format of our startup news. Since the development of the Corona crisis, this is the Corona Flash and we will try to keep you updated on a regular basis until this all is over. Reach out to us, there's now even a survey out there for in Google Forms. You can give us feedback, suggest topics, interview partners, sh share links or just say hello. Uh, you can also find me here via email, Twitter, LinkedIn and my video interview. Since the Corona outbreak in Europe, we surpassed 150,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank you all and keep you up to date with the current development. Public life in Germany is now greatly reduced. In most of Germany's 16 states, the opening hours of bars and restaurants are severely limited and only selected stores, think groceries, pharmacies, remain open during normal hours. This has a great impact on startups in Germany as well, from changing to remote only work to a heavy drag on the revenues to finding even emergency funding. We thought we would give you an overview as a short flash update. We want to provide you with collection of links and reports that point you where to find more information, help and you can read more. That said, there's a great um, link collection of the German Startup Association. Um, they do have, it's called Collected Best Practices of the German Startup Scene by the German Startup Association. Some of the highlights is a guide to supported measures for startups affected by coronavirus across Europe by sifted um, COVID-19 symptoms and what to do, including a list of links and phone numbers in relevant geographies, Kurzarbeit is in Germany a short-term measure to support companies who are part of the employees' pay is taken over by the government. You can also find more information here, very detailed FAQ on Kurzarbeit. Obligations to find for insolvency due to Corona suspended for companies in Germany, as well as a global collection of VC resources, measurement lists, blog posts, and other communications. This is a very great Google document, and of course, you'll find the link down here in the show notes. Other associations link collections. What to consider? Time to plan now. Consider this situation going on for weeks, even months, and make plans accordingly. For startups, cash is king. Here are some examples of measures put together by the German government. There is a link to the BMWI, which is the German Ministry of Economics, we could find. Uh, there's also a, uh, a great link of on in German employment law. Um, Kurzarbeiter application forms for um, Germany and a list and hotline for companies with potential liquidity problems from the German Ministry of Finance, mostly listing economic development banks, and there is even a hotline you could call here in Germany. Um, there's also a great Corona information page for companies by Technologieland Hessen. They have links to updates, sources for 
short-term financing and FAQ lists. There is also a great collection of potential helpful links by our friends of Penta, the Berlin-based challenger bank. They have application forms for the German Finanzamt to lighten the tax burden to application forms for short-term work Kurzarbeit. Related news, startups developing tech to combat COVID-19 urge to apply for fast-track EU funding by TechCrunch and good news from the German federal government, they promise up to 40 billion euros in aid and loans to freelancers and SMEs, reports Der Spiegel. Keep in mind, this will not all go to startups, but we will keep you updated on the measures as well as when and where to apply. Potential time frame, a snapshot of China, the epicenter of Corona right now from the New York Times. China hits a coronavirus milestone. No new local infections. Drastic measures have been taken there since January 22nd. This gives us also a potential time frame of almost 60 days. Keep in mind, without proper vaccination, the virus could re-emerge after restrictions are lifted. There's also a paper by Imperial College UK, which focuses on the UK and the US, but is a guide for the duration of potential measures. This paper forecasts the height of death in the UK mid end of May and in the US beginning and mid of June. Keep in mind, even though we will be through Corona crisis, we may face another outbreak in the coming winter without proper vaccination. You should factor this in as a potential scenario in your plans. Further reading, eustartups.com has 10 tips for productive homeworking and there is a list of publications by Deloitte on the impact of COVID-19 on financial services, mostly focused on the US, but you can also keep uh, draw some lessons from it. We'll try to keep you updated as soon as there are new developments. Stay tuned and find the links down here in the show notes to subscribe on our channels. Thank you. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.